impressive human beings and welcome to Live Your Impressivity TV show. Today's episode is a little bit more special because we are talking about the journaling starter kit. And with that, I mean how you can actually create a beautiful experience with writing so that you want to come back to using pen and paper every single time that you need a moment for yourself whether it's for getting to know yourself better, for awareness, for mindfulness, or maybe when you're struggling with a challenge in your life and you want to figure out what is that negative emotion that is really, really uh, bothering you. So I want to make sure that you create this amazing, amazing context and this beautiful environment for you so that when you actually try out writing, you will really love it. Before we start, I want to make sure that you click the subscribe button below and the notifications bell and that you let us know in the comments, have you tried journaling before and do you have a ritual related to writing? Let us know and I'm looking forward to supporting you in your journaling journey. So if you're a beginner when it comes to journaling, then I want to make sure that you go and watch this video first because this is going to be a more revealing way on how to start journaling. And this is going to set up the way that you are going to create that first experience. However, if you are already familiar with journaling and you started writing and you really enjoy it, but you are looking for something to go deeper, then you might want to try this out as well because this is the way to set up your environment and this is the way to actually create a ritual. This is for you when you really want to have a meeting with your soul, with yourself, or maybe you want to create a more spiritual encounter with pen and paper. So this might be exactly what you're looking for. Okay, so most of the times, as we know, we just want to get things done with. So if we want to start writing, then we just want pen and paper, sit down at the desk and that's it. But in order to actually have a pleasant experience and in order to go a little bit deeper, then I'm going to give you some tips on what else you can bring into that ritual so that you create the journaling starter kit. Okay, so just like I mentioned in the video on how to start journaling for beginners, you want to make sure that you use all your senses when it comes to writing. So it's not just about using pen and paper, but it's also about creating an environment. It's also about using your smell, using your touch, and also using your taste buds. So how can we do that? Keep watching. Okay, so to enhance one of our senses, I'm going to start first with our smell. And I want to make sure that you bring in everything that's really helping you to feel a little bit more aligned. So I usually go with candles, scented candles that will really make the uh, atmosphere a little bit uh, more nice and calm. And then I also use some essential oils so you can also go with anything that really makes you feel a little bit more relaxed so lavender is usually the best way to go because this is definitely the soothing and calming energy that you're looking for I also have here peppermint and eucalyptus because these can also uh, be useful if you're journaling in the morning and you want them to be a little bit more energetic for you so make sure that you choose whatever really works for you and whether you want to be in a more relaxed mood or whether you want to be more dynamic and maybe you want to use journaling for planning for your goals and then you really want to be in that set so and then you really want to be in that state of awareness and a dynamic and energetic mood. If you want to try out journaling in the evening when you want to be more relaxed and you want to write about your day and you want a little bit of self-reflection, then you might want to try also some incense sticks. I have here some meditation incense, which is an Ayurvedic um, support for your ritual. And all you have to do is just get one of these um, incense sticks out and place it in this beautiful um, space here, light it up and then make sure that it is really helping you to relax and to get into that mood of calming and of being aware and mindful. Now for the next step we want to create a really pleasant sound environment. So with this I mean that you can play some music which is a very relaxing and helping you to calm music 
or you can go for uh, a meditation whether it's a sound meditation a guided meditation or a silent meditation and just plug in your earplugs and make sure that you go and listen to one of the tracks that really really help you i personally use inside timer as my go-to meditation app and i absolutely love it because i have been using it for over three years and it's really really powerful because it has meditations for absolutely all tastes whether you want the guided one whether you want to just set the timer and sit in meditation just go there and find anything that you want oh yes and it has a free version which you can enjoy and try out and i'm sure that you will also love it so you can choose to do this meditation after you light up the candles and the scented sticks or if you want you can just play the music in the background leave it on a very low volume in the background and just make sure that you have it on for the time of the ritual the next sense that you want to put into action is your taste buds and the best way to do that is by having a warm beverage next to you so whether you want to go with some tea or some hot chocolate or even some uh, coffee then just make sure that you have a nice mug that is really really inspiring you and you keep it next to you so that it actually supports you in creating that beautiful relaxed atmosphere. Warm beverages are known to really give you that relaxed sense of calm and coziness and feeling safe. So you really want to go for something that really gives you that sense and that comfort. When it comes to the visual support, then you may want to either dim the lights down and just use the candles, or you may just have all the lights on, or if it's in the morning, then the natural light is just perfect. Just make sure that you have an easy way to look at your pen and paper and that you are not making it difficult for you to use the writing tool. So just go for whatever works for you best. When it comes to the touch, then you have a little bit of other choices before you get to the actual pen and paper. So you might also want to hold in your opposite hand. You might want to have one of your crystals or stones, something that is really, really inspiring you. Whether it's more of a spiritual journey that you're taking or maybe it's just something that might get you in the mood to write, uh, you can choose to ha hold one of these crystals. So for instance, I have here a crystal for abundance, one for well-being and one for balance and they are absolutely amazing. I don't always hold them in my hand, but I do keep them close by when I journal and this really gives me that powerful inspiration and that energy and I feel that they might hold some answers and when I meditate I can really hold them in my hand and charge them because I just feel that this is the way that it really helps me to be more focused when I ask questions or when I have something that is really bothering me and I just want to pour everything onto paper. And now it's finally time to take your pen and paper in hand and to start writing. Of course, like I mentioned in the video before, I know how important it is to choose your favorite notebook and your favorite pen, something that really creates that beautiful experience for you. So make sure that you have that uh, close by and that you use it for your journaling sessions. Especially when you create this beautiful ritual around you and you have the context and the environment to support this, then you really want to make sure that when you write down it feels safe, it feels pleasant, it really feels like a very comforting experience and that you are really really um, in a session with your soul because after all this is what journaling is about you want to get in touch more with the answers that are already within you and you want to make sure that you're listening more to your intuition and that you're more mindful because the journaling starter kit is more about how to set up the intention and how to set up the environment around you so that it drives you closer to your heart and your soul as a bonus, if you're going to use this session for a letting go ritual, then I suggest that you also have um, a small bowl with water inside so that once you start writing your negative emotions and you tear them down and maybe you want to burn them with one of the candles or you just want to make sure that they disappear and you let them go, 
you can just put the piece of paper then into this water here because it's safe and it dissolves it and you will feel that beautiful energy melting down all your worries and your negative emotions. So I always have something like this around me when I do a session that I want to release some negative emotions. So here it is, this is my writing ritual for the journaling starter kit and I hope that you have enjoyed it. Give it a try and let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part, what works for you and what time of the day is best for your schedule. Then if you have any questions about what else you want to use and what other uh, tools you might want to include in your journaling starter kit, then let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. Make sure that you click the subscribe button below and that you come back every Tuesday for new videos. I am so excited to see you on your journaling journey and to support you with your next steps. Until next time, stay impressive!